This is video two of how to work the background behind some trees if you're doing any kind of outdoor shots. Um, this is a different way of doing it completely. Um, the previous one was where you're trying to bring in the sky that was naturally there at the time to enhance the photo of, you know, the sky was a different exposure. If you want to check that, check the link down below, I will attach this video. However, this one, let's just say we were wanting a nicer, brighter, lovelier sky. So what I've gone, They've gone back to the bright image here again. Now, as per usual, I make a duplicate of that. But what I'm also gonna do is that I'm gonna bring in a photo which I've got, which is of some lovely sky. So here, this photo here I've got is a sky with a couple of clouds and a rainbow in it, very nice. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make the background image smaller for that, just it'll make all the processing uh, much easier. If you want to keep the dimensions the same whenever you are uh, scaling the image, what to do is hold down the control button and then that means it will stay in the same ratio that you've been using before. So make that a little bit smaller, put that somewhere into the image. So we've moved the sky into the background and what we want to do is the same as what we did last time, use the fuzzy select tool, at, uh, then choose, a, oh, whoops, choose most of the background sky, the boring white stuff, and do the same as what we did before. Okay, so now we've got a much more kind of pleasing looking sky. However, we've still got this area here which we're like, ah, oh, how are we gonna work with this? Now, because we're not using uh, a second image, we, we have to somehow get rid of all the white stuff, but yet still keeping the darkness of the trees. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna use the lasso tool and select, oh, oh, oh God, start again. And select an area right around these trees. Try and not go over these buildings too much and back up. So that area is now selected and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, float, make that a new layer. And as you can see we've got it just a layer floating on its own and to get rid of the white, fortunately it is white, all we need to do is go to darken only and there you can see that all the white bits have now completely disappeared. And if you want to adjust it in any way, what I would suggest is going up to the colors and going to the levels. Um, and if you think the trees have somehow become a little bit too dark, what to do is you can play around uh, with the levels. And I would say probably bringing the top bit down just a touch. And that looks a little bit more natural. We can move the middle bit up and down. I would say about probably about there is about good. Click OK, and then what to do, just go right click, flatten image, and there you go. That's a different way. Uh, oh, well, you'd obviously want to crop it so it's the right size of the shot. And export it from there. And that would be another way of doing your sky.